So let's go to the third commandment in, in verse 7. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. You can't take God's name in vain. So understand this. In most cultures, when a man and a woman get married, the wife, the bride, adopts the surname of the man. So Israel now is taking the name of Yahweh, and God is helping them to understand, you're taking my name, you represent me, you represent us together, it's not just you anymore. And he even says in Isaiah 56 too, that I, I will reveal my name to my people, and I will reveal its power to them. He wants nations to understand through the commitment of his people what it means to bear the name of Yahweh. So he's saying, I want you to behave and act in such a way that you honor me with the way that you bear my name. Now, if we don't understand that concept, the, you know, don't take the Lord's name in vain can become very empty. And it's hard for us to grasp what that command even means. But understand it in this way. It means that those of you who are in a covenant relationship with God today through the blood of Jesus, that you are God's witness to the world. And the way that the world sees God through your life matters to God. So as you are his image bearer and you bear his name, don't take that name in vain. In other words, don't take his name and, and live the same way as though you're still living just for yourself. So there's, there's far more to don't take the Lord's name in vain than what most many of us have thought there is to that. As a kid, I thought that meant you're not allowed to say, oh, my God. As long as you didn't say, you know, if one my sister said that, I'd be like, oh, my goodness, you took the Lord's name in vain. It's way more than that. Way more than that. It means that we bear God's name with respect and honor, understanding that as people look at us, they're getting a taste of God. The point has been made that, that the word of God is not for the world. The people out there in the street aren't going to read this. The, the word of God is for the church. And the church becomes the word of God to the people in the world that that we encounter. We, we are their Bible. We are exposing them to the truth of God. And the way that we carry God's name really matters a lot to God. So it is an act of love when we live in such a way that we honor God's name as we live before the people. He says, don't take my name in vain. You represent both of us now. 